So I'm here with uh, Brendan, and um, how are you, mate? I'm very well, thank you. Um, tell me about your car, mate. So what you're looking at here is actually a 2010 HSV Malou Ute, yep. which we have converted into a two-door coupe. Okay. So we, tell me where, where it was a ute and now it is a coupe. Well, we chose the ute because a ute is 100 mil longer in the wheelbase. Okay. Which just makes the proportions of the car so much better. Okay. A ute comes with flip forward front seats. Okay. So also work better. Yep. But for the actual modifications, we cut the ute body off to the A-pillar. Okay. Took everything off. Yep. And then we put a sedan body back on. Okay. And um, made the doors to fit, massaged the rear flares. Yep. And it all came out beautifully. Yeah, yeah. And the colour, what was, uh, was that, is that a Holden colour or? Was... No, um, it's the brightest orange that I could find. I think it might have started out as something like a tan cello, but yep. now it's got a few bits and pieces as well. Yep. I actually had Owen Webb say to me that after doing all the body work, you need something a bit bright to show it up. Don't go painting it a dark colour. I would have okay. been more of a, a grey or something. But okay. now that it's orange, I love it. I couldn't imagine it anything else. Yeah, yeah, it shows the body lines off really well. So um, also, Brendan, you're talking. You put a you put a different front end on it. Well, one of the themes that I've gone through with the car is I've made it into a W427 theme, okay. which is the front body kit and so forth. Yeah. Now that of course means that it should have a seven liter engine. Which okay. It now does. We've got the seven liter in there, and that's topped by a 2650 Harrop supercharger. Okay. So on petrol, it's a bit under a thousand. On E85, it's well over a thousand. So it's an absolute monster for this kind of car, more than it needs. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm just sort of looking at the interior. How did you um, fit all that in, or was there a lot of modification being a ute? You well, cut all that out well, from the again, base? The, the front seats are still the original ute. Yep. Uh, and as I said, they flip forward. And yep. so I just got another pair of um, buckets, and they went in the back really without any dramas at all. The whole car went together so easily, it was almost like it should have been made. The only dramas we've had has been the glass. So okay. We're, we're still battling getting the exact right glass. Yeah, okay, okay, to try and get that curvature. The curvature is in two directions. Um, I have had Perspex in it, which is fine. We then tried it with glass, and unfortunately it was under tension. I had a minor accident, and the glass broke. Okay. So um, let's um, have a look at the engine. Do you want to flick Absolutely. the bonnet? what you would call a pretty engine bay compared to a lot of street cars <laughs> yep. but um, as I said it's got more power than this car needs and it has the proper 7 litre to go with the 7 litre body kit. Okay, okay. And that, that would have just fitted straight in? You absolutely. Have been, no, yep. no modifications? No, absolutely. No. I and mean, this is a VE exactly like the W427s were. So okay. It just fits perfectly and all completely legal. It's okay. registered as a two-door coupe with a seven-liter engine. Okay, because I was going to ask you about that. You sort of had to um, get it through modification because it was a ute. Yep. So now it's not. It's a four-door. Well, it, we might be in Australia, but all the states are different. I couldn't get this built in Victoria back in the day. Okay. So I actually had it built in New South Wales. I had it registered at my cousin's address, who was in New South Wales. Okay. And then after a few years, I moved to Victoria. Yep. And brought my car with me. And okay. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. about the back end and what we, where it's sort of modified there because it actually looks all original doesn't it? The only modifications really are the rear wheel arches. Yep. VE Commodores to me always have a big re a big flare at the front and two smaller one at the back so when we put the 22s on it I always wanted to space them out so we had a nice big flare on the back. Okay. And because it's a ute this line here yep. is actually a hundred mil shorter than on a sedan. Okay. So people think I've shortened everything and I've done it, but I haven't. All it is is the ute wheel is a little bit further back. Okay. And we covered that up by making a big flare. Okay. Okay. And who did all the body work? What, um... The car was originally built at the Castlemaine Rod Shop. Okay. Uh, only took one year, which okay. was absolutely fantastic. They did a wonderful job. Uh, I used it straight away. Never quite got it finished. Yep. I was never a trailer queen, so... After 10 years or so, I started to get a bit tatty, and then I actually hit a wombat, which did okay. quite a bit of damage, and that's where my, <laughs> my windows broke. Yep. And then from there, I actually took it to Maskell's to okay. get it um, revamped, and that's where we put the new engine in it, the new supercharger, redid the interior, redid the paint, yep. refurbished the wheels, 
So it's actually better than it ever was. Yeah, so as yeah. soon as I get the windows done, uh, get them done again, I can say that it is 100% finished. Yeah, yeah. Brendan for the chat and um, love your car mate. Alright, take it easy. Thank Cheers you very mate. Much. Thanks Scotty.